Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. I don't know what it is about spring that has me wanting to make over every room in my house, but here we are. If you guys missed, I had a living room makeover just a couple weeks back and today I'm coming at you with a bedroom makeover. This video is in partnership with Article Furniture and I'll tell you guys all about them in a little while. But to start, let me show you guys the bedroom that we're working with. So you walk into the room, here's our bathroom, and we have kind of like a little mini hallway right here. And then it's very simple. We have bed, dresser, and my daughter's little bedroom nook right here. And then I have this mirror here. So I wanna tell you guys the plan. Some of you might be wondering where our bed frame that we've been using went. Well, two years ago, DIY'd our bed frame. It was definitely still holding up, but we were able to gift that to a friend for her guest room, which was really awesome because she didn't have anything in there. So these are kind of square and bulky. So we're gonna be getting some circular side tables. Now the biggest change we're gonna make we really need more storage in here. We've got three people. We do have, oh here, we do have these two closets and they are just bursting. What we're gonna be doing is, I'm not getting rid of this beautiful dresser. It might go in my boy's room. So this dresser, which I do have that missing knob. Um, I just have not fixed it yet. <laughs> So this dresser is going to get moved, but what we're going to do is we're going to be getting a long dresser. Now we can't fit a long dresser here, but I have measured and I am pretty sure right here can go a full long dresser. I'm going to put the mirror here. I think that'll actually look really nice between the windows. And this is pretty skinny walking space here anyways. So I think that might, that'll open up this space, even though we'll have the dresser over here. It's like eight in the morning and our delivery truck is coming right away. I managed to move the bed. <laughs> I was just trying to like make it easy for them because they're going to bring it all the way up like the bed frame. So I thought, you know, that was nice. Did that, scooted these over. I cleared this whole spot so that the dresser can go here. Plan is to have them bring up the heavy stuff, the dresser and the bed frame, and then I can deal with like side tables and anything else like that. It is the next morning. The bed is here. Everything is here. Um, I'm about to get my side tables put in place. The nice delivery men. We did in-room assembly with Article because <laughs> It would have been wild between me and my husband to bring these boxes up the stairs and they put everything together. I was so happy to have that option with Article. I'm going to tell you a little bit about all the pieces as we go, but this is the Saba Boulevard white slipcover bed frame. It is perfection. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's move out my side tables. These were DIYs a couple years back too. I can find that video for anybody interested. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these yet. We might store them away. They've definitely seen better days. But one thing I'm really excited about is that we got round side tables and I feel like, that's a little clearer now. I feel like the round is gonna work so much better because I love that this headboard is bigger and it just gives like a grander feel. And so I feel like with the round, it's just gonna, it's gonna flow a lot nicer. think I like want to put it close but I don't want to put it too close is this too close I feel like this is weird this like I know some people like a big space I don't <laughs> I like it a little closer I think <laughs> okay we're gonna go with that I can always move it more later these are the Barlow oak side tables they are so solid and sturdy. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely beautiful. I love a super neutral, clean color palette. So adding in these pieces of warm wood really just warm up the space. Pieces like this stop the room from feeling cold. Also, I love to add a lot of texture, which you guys, I'll show you guys the rug in a minute. The rug, oh, 
is adding so much good texture. This is the Reed Diamond Gray Area Rug, and it is so cozy soft. I absolutely love like the textured look of it. It kind of has like these cool lines, and then of course there's this subtle pattern throughout, and it is the perfect neutral rug. It is so cozy. I am so glad I can add this to the space. I wanna talk lamps. The lamp I had on here, these are the lamps we have been using. They are actually, the other one is cracked and the lampshade is breaking, love that. But I don't feel like this, I don't feel like this is the right like size. Something about this is just not feeling right. So I'm actually gonna shop my home because we have these two little lamps that one is being used in my son's room, but I actually always feel it like it's too small and this lamp would go so much better in his room. So I think we're gonna do a little swapsies. Here it is. Isn't it cute? It's like very cute and little. We're gonna play around with it, but I feel like I like that so much more. So much more. I feel like the other ones were just too big. This side, I literally love love this is the before this also just ignore the mess of it but i feel like this is so much more proportionate than this so yay <laughs> article is now offering bedding i am thrilled about this duvet and sham set i have like a love affair with this gauzy cotton fabric the texture this color everything about this i am so excited for so i'm gonna get these washed really quick before i get this duvet on i just wanted to be transparent and show you guys <laughs> the unglamorous side of room makeovers my husband's not here to help me with all the heavy lifting because he had to take the kids while i'm filming and so this is the other half of the room that you guys aren't seeing we're in the process of we need to transfer all of these clothes into this dresser. We have to move this dresser out. All the bedding, everything is just piled high. But guess what? This side of the room is starting to look really nice. So this is the light taupe color. They have also a color called taupe, but this is the light taupe. And it's just, it's fantastic. So... I'm gonna get my top sheet on and get this put on my duvet. I absolutely love that article is now selling bedding. They actually are also partnering with Lisa Mattress and selling mattresses, although we didn't grab one this time. I love that they're offering bedding and it's just complementing all of their modern bed frames and furniture. And now really article is like a one-stop shop for all things bedroom. They have multiple types of bedding. They have super soft cotton, breathable linen, different colors to choose from. Whether you're shopping for your bedroom or other places in your home, they offer high quality furniture at a great price. It's really designed to withstand the test of time. Also in stock items deliver fast with estimated times on each product page. Delivering her to her new home. Nothing is styled, but this is the Dalsa six drawer oak dresser, and it is so stunning. It has these slow close drawers. I am loving it. It fits perfectly. I measured this little wall right here to make sure we had enough space. This is so solid, and I cannot wait to style it up. My plan is to put a thrifted antique mirror right here but we need to do a little DIY on it so we're actually going to head outside and do that right now but let me quickly also tell you about this lamp. This is the Cristo Pompeii table lamp. I am absolutely obsessed with the shape of this lampshade. I'm pretty sure this is like concrete cement. I love the colors and dimensions. This is the mirror. I thrifted this for $12 and it's definitely, I think it's such a cool mirror. I love the arch top. This frame has really, it kind of needs some love. So we are going to strip it down.
I wanted to show you guys the mirror. It turned out really, really nice, but something about it styled here, I feel like it was falling flat. So I was feeling really unsure about the mirror styling situation. I still haven't decided and I can always use it somewhere else or keep it where it is, but I went to the thrift store to see if I could find any large size canvases and I got this one for $3.99 and we are gonna DIY it. There's this project Drew from Lone Fox did like over a year ago probably and I have loved it and wanted to do it ever since. So I picked up this dry deck. Can't find my uh, actual little scooper thing. So this is so funny. Someone's going to laugh at me. Yes, this is a cheese slicer. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, it's fine. I will wash it very thoroughly. <laughs> oh boy, I'm nervous. going to let it dry and then we're gonna paint it everything is dry I was gonna just paint it but I did pick up some white spray paint and I think because I can already tell it's gonna take me so many coats that I think I'm going to just go and give it one coat of spray paint and then I'll go back over with some paint here's how it looks after one little coat of spray paint <laughs> And now I have started painting it with this little paint sample that I got. art that I actually think could be cool to hang. I could even hang it long ways. No, I didn't make it long ways. I think I have to do it vertical, but I could layer. I could also layer like a photo. You guys can comment below. Let me know what you guys think, the mirror or the art. I just got back from the grocery store and I got these hydrangeas to put in the bedroom. I thought that would be pretty. I pulled out this old croc that I have. Got this at an antique store in Ohio. I don't like to actually fill this up with water because I just, I don't know, I get nervous because it's old. So I just like put this one inside of it. And this was like from the dollar store, I think. I think these will be so pretty in the bedroom. Love it. Currently editing, but I had to do a quick pop in and say, I know we need curtains. I didn't hang them for this video and I felt like somebody was going to say something and I just wanted to say, I know it's crying out for curtains. I wanted to show you that I rearranged Myla's area. I think it is so cute. We really just needed to put her bed long ways. It used to be long ways on this side. This bed can be three different lengths. We actually had it at the shortest one over here. We were wanting to do it to the next size up, but the next size up just didn't work. Having it stick out right here just looked really bad, but then I realized now that the dresser is gone, you can put it on this side. So anyways, here's Milo's new little space so cute I added some little touches it's you know it'll all get cleaned up for the reveal okay friends i think it is time for those final touches do you remember how this room looked before
and here it is now. I love my bedroom. It feels so good. It feels less cluttered now. I'm really liking the way we switched up the dresser situations. This way is feeling so good. Myla's area is looking so cute. And this bed is changing my life. <laughs> it's the dream bed. It's so, so good. And oh my gosh, I can't thank Article enough for this sponsorship. What a joy and a privilege to work with them again. Guys, I will have all of their stuff linked down below for you. If you are interested in any of their bedroom items or any of their items at all, they not only have bedroom stuff, but living room, dining room, everything. All their furniture is so, so stunning. I know you guys would find something great. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith.home. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.